is etchy. It is what I lovingly refer to as boobs, no nipples, even though that is not accurate whatsoever. In Japanese, ecchi is a term that is used to describe salacious and lewd behavior in general. As an adjective, ecchi's English equivalent would be naughty or perverted. As a verb, ecchi suru, as in to do ecchi, means sex or sexual acts. It also happens to be how H is pronounced. Wait, why all those things? It just has to be that way. And within the anime realm, ecchi is a genre that English speakers have coined to encompass anime that has sexual content like nudity and innuendo. If we were to talk in terms of movie ratings, ecchi would be considered a rated R as opposed to hentai which features full-blown sex and genitalia exposure which would be considered NC-17. Don't forget tentacle porn. Tentacle doesn't have to just mean hentai, it could be in anything. That being said, the ecchi genre does have a spectrum. It can go from innocuous like Love Hina to something like Toraburu where the sexual components are driving force in the Show, then there are those that are just vivid fan service and have nothing to do with the main plot like Gurren Lagann, No Game No Live, and Akamanga Kill. And then there are a bunch that take it way too far and I wish it didn't exist in that genre but aren't quite considered hentai, like Seiko no Quasar. There is so much boob action in that from like the first episode, you can't get away from it. Akisora for straight up incest and kiss sis for more acceptable but still equally disturbing non-blood related siblings being really into each other, like really into each other like a lot. Incest is wincest. There are also a bunch of tropes in Echi. For example, it's a very common theme to see a harem of ladies helplessly throwing themselves at the one male <coughs> unlimited Fafnir <coughs> who is seemingly unaware of his sexual prowessy hold he has on everyone. Oftentimes this harem is depicted by the male lead being forced into entering an all-girls school, usually involving magic, and he gets himself stuck in unavoidable sexy situations, which would otherwise never normally occur ever. <coughs> Blade dance of the element dollars. <coughs> After researching and examining examining a lot of ecchi anime, I think this was a fantasy gone awry where you, the only single male, are surrounded by girls of varying personalities that all somehow want a piece of you. A part of me also suspects that a lot of ecchi that involves magic and schools and romanized names may be a way to displace it from being too real, you know, to keep the ultra fantasy alive. <laughs> So have we demystified ecchi anime for you? What do you want to know about anime that's never really ever made any sense? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to check out some ecchi anime, don't forget to sign up to get your free premium membership trial by going to crunchyroll.com slash sfnerd. Now let's teach you some Japanese words in relation to ecchi, like oppai, as in boobies, shimapang, this is a portmanteau of words pantsu, as in panties, and shimashima, which are stripes. So, you know, striped panties. Nuru nuru, which is the onomatopoeia for slippery. And in Japanese, ecchi anime is called edo, as in erotic. So look up edo anime or edo manga. Or don't. Mite kurete, doumo arigatou gozaimasu. Dewa mata ne.